Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, we're going to look at creating a navigation form, a front screen for your database. So this is module seven of the series for the CRM database. Now, at the moment, I haven't got anything on the screen, but what I'm going to do is create a form which will allow me to open up all of these features, well, not all of them, the main one. So I want a form that will open up this and we'll have some buttons on like this and one that's going to run my reports like so account statement and these are the these are the four reports as well so first of all i need to create macros to do that now you can i'll just quickly show you create uh, form design you can use the preloaded features like this um, form operations open form next then you pick your form next and then just finish and when you look at that and click that opens that form but what i want to do is use macros because macros have got a lot more flexibility when you're doing stuff like this because although that did open the form it didn't close this form it's left this one open whereas in a macro you can actually get it to close down things behind so it never leaves loads of windows open so that's what i'm going to do and it's quite simple really so just close that down i won't save that just yet um create macro and i'm not just going to do a simple macro i'm going to use a sub macro um sub macro is there and the first one is going to be open bookings now when you do a sub macro you can create you can create lots of uh, macros that are doing the same thing so these are all going to be opening up forms so i'm going to create two macros one to open forms one to open reports but these are like the containers for those macros so open bookings with an s is what i'm going to do and then there's going to be open form and then it's asking you which form you want to open and open bookings is what i want to do and then that's all i want to do next one is um And that one, sorry, this one, this next one down, sub macro. This one's going to be open customers. And then the same process, you type open form in there. And then you select the form customers from this drop down. Open form customers. And then the third one and the last one in this little bit is sub macro. So we're going to call this open customers alt, I'll call it main actually, main. And then you do the same thing, open form, find the form, customers alt, like so, and then that's it. So you save the macro as open forms have already done and then when you close that create a new macro create macro so it's still going to be a sub macro but now we're going to do sub macro call it open what's this going to be statement let's do that one first these are the reports we're going to do open statements so it's going to be open report and then you select the statement customer statement then a new sub macro open report second one is going to be customer invoice and then sub macro again this one's going to be open customer sales open report and select customer sales and then the last one is sales funnel so sub macro open sales funnel and then you open report again and select the report sales funnel so that's the four i want 
and then you can save this as open reports so basically rather than creating seven different macros i've created two macros and i'm going to call them cabinets to store macros that do basically the same thing open open either a form or report now what what i would normally do as well is instead of ending each of these macros i would close down the form that they're coming from so in this case main menu i'm going to create a form called main menu so each one of these would have an extra step close main menu same with the forms as well but i've not done that for now just want to show you the process so close these macros down you need to add those buttons onto a main menu form and then attach the macros to the main menu buttons so let's create a form create form design now we'll draw the button exactly the same as you would if you're going to use a wizard but now you're going miscellaneous and then one macro and when you go next there's your open forms macro and then one two three there open reports one two three there so that all the all the all the items are there so instead of having um, lots and lots of different macros you've just got them all encased in in here so I'll do the bookings first so this is going to be open bookings so just call it bookings for this and next you can just finish it there actually let me do another one so miscellaneous one macro next open customers so I'll just call that customers be, be, be a bit more careful with the labeling and then the last one for forms miscellaneous run macro next customers main and then next customers main finish and then we do the report so that's the three forms and then we do the three reports miscellaneous one macro next so the first one is going to be statement next just call that statements statements next finish and then next one is going to be miscellaneous one macro next sales call it sales finish and then last one is going to be the sales funnel miscellaneous run macro sales funnel call it funnel and finish and then you tidy this up highlight these three select a range stacked highlight these three select stacked and then we go and check view bookings works customers works customers main works statements ask for an invoice number statements work sales works and funnel works so they all work now you need to save this as main menu save main menu and then you've got that set ready to go now what i would normally do is because what's going to happen is when i click on bookings it leaves main menu open what i should have done is got the macro to close main menu on the back of these so if i just go onto the bookings one and try and do that so open forms it was if i right click design view so this is open form bookings so there we need new action so we need to close not database window so it asked me which window to close so therefore i'm going to say it's a form and it is the main menu and that's all i want to do so if i now save this and i, I would do the same for each of these sub macros as well close that so what should happen now when i click bookings it opens bookings but it's got rid of the main menu and then what you need to have on here is another macro that will close this form and reopen the main menu so you have a a, a place to go and a place to come back to 
but always tidying up behind yourself because remember when you enter data in a table or a form it is not actually in the database until you tab off to a new record or close the form or table down so by doing these buttons where you're tidying up behind yourself you are actually doing that so you keep it keep it nice and uh, nice and tidy so I will go back into the design on this one um, and I'll create a macro to close this and open the main menu so just one last thing to do macro um, this is going to be open form main menu and close window on the forms booking so form bookings customer bookings that one so I'll save this as a macro proper save so I've not saved these correctly so I should have said MCR so MCR macro so what's it doing it's open open main and close bookings I'll put it as and then you can read by putting the capital letters in there I think it's easier to read don't like spaces remember so let's not use spaces okay to that and then close that close that and if I go to the customer bookings form in design I can just do a another button that's going to do exactly what I want it to do so miscellaneous macro next so it's macro open no it's not that one it's the second one down open main that's what I did earlier open main close bookings that's why I do it like that so I can read what it's actually doing and then next so I'll just need to call this main menu and then that's job done and finish highlight these get them arranged tidied up save the form have a look so main menu opens it and closes up behind me so if I go to bookings closes main menu I come back it does this so you can see by doing it like that you are keeping yourself nice and tidy and there's not going to be loads and loads of windows open at the top which when you first use access and I've seen it on lots of students they tend to do that even though I'm saying to them all the time close the windows close the windows do control W closes the windows key command they still don't do it because there's a habit you have to get into and you end up with lots and lots of tabs open and therefore potentially with data not in the database properly so by doing these macro buttons which are quite simple in access you are not going to fall into that trap so that's the end of this session i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one